Okay, so I've been having a huge problem with the air updates for Strike and now for Structure. A uh, quick background, uh, in case you're not aware. Uh, I'm on Windows, first of all. I don't think this has affected Mac. But starting with 2.0.6, whenever you would go to install the Strike 2.0.6 update over 2.0.5, it would end up deleting your Strike folder, even though 2.0.6 wouldn't completely install, you'd end up getting an error, and it, it would say 2.0.5 was still installed, which it was, the plugin part was installed, but whenever you installed that 2.0.6, it would actually erase your strike content, which is ridiculous. I do not understand how air continually messes up installers. Anyway, they've done it again with strike 2.0.7 and structure 2.0. Point seven. Yes, that's right. They've managed to foul up two installers this time. Congratulations, Air. You're really making me glad I spent my money with you. I was installing my uh, 207 upgrades last night, and I kind of expected Strike, the 207 Strike installer, to mess up, and it did. I installed it. It completely erased my content. I went ahead and tried the Structure install, and what do you know? Structure 2.0.7 now completely erases my Structure content. Yes, that's right. All 40 gigs of content it completely erases it so i had to reinstall that from uh over here because i keep a backup of everything so uh, here's my original backup of 2.0.2 right here these are the installers and all and if you don't know how the installers work what they do is uh of course they install the plugins and things like that but then they activate the factory content installer which then just it, all it does is accesses this folder here with all the content and it literally just takes these folders and moves them to wherever your installation path is. That's all it does. So you can actually move these manually. So that's actually important. You, you need to have a backup before you do what I'm gonna tell you here, but you can make it a couple ways if you don't have this backup. I've actually made two backups just in case, but uh, you should at least have one backup before you install anything, at least on Windows. Let's just go ahead and cut to the quick here. I managed to get Structure 2.0.7 installed and working. And the way I did that was to install it just let it delete my library, and then I simply drag over that structure folder from my backup to, you know, where I wanted it installed. In my case, my library's drive, which is E, and that's it. Then go into Pro Tools, open up structure, and just, just add this folder to your favorites and delete the one that's in the favorites. So, I've talked enough. Let me show you exactly what happens. Now, before we do this, and before you do this, make a backup of the library that you're getting ready to install. So, if you're installing Strike, Make a backup of it. And one really easy way to get your library right back to working is make a copy in the same exact folder that you're going to be using anyway. So to do that, just simply hold down your right key on your mouse and then drag anywhere, okay, within the same folder, release. And then you have the option to copy here, create a shortcut here. What you want is copy, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I already have a copy, but I'll just show you here. I start copying and it, it's literally copying every single file, but I don't, need to do that because I already have a copy so I can delete that okay so right here's my copy right here's my folder this is the one that strike 2.0.7 is going to process every time it gets to processing content what it does is deletes the content which is stupid but you know that's the way things have been going with air for a while and I've about had it so I have a complete backup on the same exact hard drive so after 207 deletes my strike content I can simply pop it right in Hop into Pro Tools, uh, switch the directory around to where Strike is looking, and we should be good. So let's test out my theory and go ahead and install 2.0.7, Strike version 2.0.7. Now I have 2.0.5 installed right now, and uh, that path for Strike is already pointed to my E drive, just in case uh, you were wondering. Let me open up this here. Oh, this Strike folder here. So now we have both. So maybe. So now we'll see if it deletes the entire folder, or now we'll see if it just decides to delete the big files. Sometimes it deletes the entire folder, sometimes it just delete, deletes the big files. You know, let's, uh, let's find out together, shall we? <laughs> let's go ahead and click install here. Now it's going to install, it's going to process, process our strike content, which uh, I guess is code for delete it and ruin your life. <laughs> 
it's not actually that bad. It just, you know, it takes hours. See, did you see what happened? It completely deleted that folder. And yet it said strike setup was successful. Now their bar of successful must be completely different from mine because this is f***ed up if you call this successful. This is not successful. This in fact, this should say setup is the opposite of successful because that is what this setup is. <laughs> I've been dealing with this for days on end. Well, actually not days. I shouldn't say days. This is my second day. Uh, trying to figure out exactly why this keeps happening. I'm reinstalling a bunch of things on my computer because I did a, a clean install and uh, this air fiasco has cost me about eh, seven hours because I had to keep reinstalling structure. Even just dragging that 40 gig file back into place, you know, it takes a while. It's 40 freaking gigs. Here's the important thing is we have Strike installed. 2.0.7 is actually installed. Now we have no library for it. Actually, we do have a library for it because we were smart and we made a copy of that entire folder. So here's what I'll do if we close this one. So here's what I'll do. I'll just come here and I'll simply rename it. We'll strike copy, just delete the copy. Now it's just called strike, okay. And we have all of our data in there. And now what we'll do is go ahead and launch Pro Tools. So let Pro Tools launch here and then I'll open up strike and show you exactly what I'm talking about, uh, setting up your continent path. And this should work. Okay, and we are back in Pro Tools is now open. So I'll show you, Strike is actually installed, even though it uh, decided to completely obliterate our library, which I, I don't understand why, you know, two versions in a row this is happening. It's completely unacceptable for it to happen with one installer for it to completely erase a library that's 20, 30, 40 gigs, especially for, you know, I feel for the people, for you guys, who don't back up everything because downloading, if you know anything about the air instrument bundle, downloading the air instrument bundle, you know, you'd almost rather get teeth pulled without any any sort of painkiller at all. It, it's, it's just the absolute worst process. Okay, so anyway, let's, let's move on here. I, I've just kind of had it with this bullshit. So we'll go ahead here to strike. And you'll see that strike, uh, the plugin is installed just fine. It, it'll work just fine. Uh, but as you see, content not found. I wonder why that could be. Hmm, could it be because you deleted it upon install? So what we'll need to do is go ahead and set our content path now that we have everything installed, which again, you shouldn't have to do this. I don't know why they cannot get a handle on their installation procedure. But anyway, let's come here to our wrench, pick our little folder here. And now all we have to do is direct it exactly to um, our folder. So here's strike. I think this is the strike folder. That's what we want. Please restart strike. Close it. No insert. Come back here. Strike. And there we go. Now you can see we have our presets. I don't have any user presets, but there's our presets. We have our kits, mixes. All our content should be there and just to make sure i'll just uh yep there it is load up a kit real quick here all right so there you go so that does work that is a workaround if you want to install the 2.0.7 update and what was happening to me happens to be happening to you where it's deleting your content what you have to do is if if you already deleted your content make sure you have that backup Hopefully, you know, hopefully you have that backup, but install the full 2.0.2 installer, unless you can find a later installer. If you can do that, you know, go ahead. But uh, 2.0.2 is the full installers that I have. So I had to reinstall that, then reinstall uh, 207, which of course, as we just saw, delete my content, then uh, pull my content back over, <laughs> okay? So it's a, it's, a, it's a workaround, it's a process, it's something we should not have to do as users as purchasers, as, as uh, people who pay for software, we should not have to fix manufacturers' problems that they can't seem to get a handle on. Hopefully this helps someone who's having the same problem that uh, I have. And real quick, let me just show you about structure. Uh, when I told you I had to do the same exact thing for structure uh, because I deleted my content library. So what I had to do was install 2.0.2, then install 2.0.7, and the same thing happened that we just saw with Strike. It completely obliterated my structure library. But as I showed you, I have that structure library backed up. So I just simply pull that back in. Then we come here to browser. Now from the browser, where you have your favorite folders, 
Of course, it was pointing to the structure folder for structure free, which is installed with the uh, first air instrument, the free instruments that come with Pro Tools. Of course, it was pointing to that content. So whenever you would come over to your structure and right click and you'd go to uh, add patch, it would say structure content. And it's just, you know, it's just a sampling of the actual factory content. To get back to the actual factory library, all you need to do is navigate to it, which is it's not really easy in structure but all you would do is click that up arrow till you get to your, uh, your drive list and just head to whatever hard drive you have structure installed on, okay? So you just come over to your Air Music Technology folder, whatever you call it, structure and your structure factory libraries and just hit that plus sign to make sure it's added to your favorite folders. You can show your favorite folders here. And then in this area will also be the structure free content library. You can right click the structure free content library or click on it, I mean, and just click this X that will remove it from the favorites. Then whenever you come to right click, the only thing you'll be left left with is the structure factory libraries. So then when you come down to add patch, you'll have structure factory libraries, just as it should have been set up if they didn't completely mess up the installer, but they did. So that's a lot of workarounds to get things functioning, but apparently that's what we have to do now. That That's apparently uh, how air is going to be operating because this is two generations now of updates where they have completely effed up my system twice in a row and with absolutely no response from uh, uh, customer support or technical support. And uh, you know, if you are watching my videos, you know that uh, I'm not exactly a neophyte when it comes to uh, uh, technical things and understanding technical things and teaching technical things. I just don't understand why they cannot set these things up their installers up to instead of processing the content during installation of the plugin is process the content after the thing is installed just have a little tab uh, just like bfd does where you uh, process your content where you go check for content locations that's all you have to do you don't have to process the content during the installation of the plugin that's what's causing all this problem take that part out of the installation install the plugin when i open the plugin say hey where's the content so we can process it that way at least i have something installed and hopefully then it's not going to end up deleting my uh, library because you're running some sort of command prompt commands in the background that end up deleting my folder of you know of total of about 60 gigs of data when you're figuring strike and structure and this is unacceptable it's completely unacceptable but anyway there's a workaround for you guys if you're having the same problem uh, that I've had with Strike and Structure, make sure you copy, copy, not move, because you have to have the content there for the plugin to be able to install. Because if the plugin can't install and delete your content, then it's no fun. So you have to have the content there to be erased, otherwise your plugin won't install. So make sure you copy it, either copy it to the same directory, if you don't have enough room, copy it to another hard drive, okay? After the awesome great super fun time air music installer completely obliterates your system okay and deletes all your content then simply drag over your backup okay back into the uh, folder of your choice make sure it has a good name and then open up pro tools uh head into whatever plugin happens to be striker structure and just set up your content location and then you should be good to go so what can i tell you well, that's the end of this video <laughs>